Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Today, I've got the Cures and Curses box because it came early this month. I don't know why, but it's here, so let's do it. First of all, remember last month's box when I got the Selenite Sword? But the Selenite Sword was broken. Well, they sent me another one. And it's in here. <laughs> I thought I was going to drop it for a minute. It's here, ladies and gentlemen. So I have a Selenite Sword again, which is super cute. Look at it. I love it. So yeah, I sent him a message saying about the Selenite Sword being broken. And he basically said apologies, obviously. And that a lot of people actually had their Selenite Sword arrive broken, which to be honest, doesn't surprise me at all because it's a Selenite Sword and it must be hard to send through the post without the box getting knocked around a bit, right? But this month we have another box. It's in a cute yellow bag and there's some quite big stuff in here by the looks of it. So as always, we'll have the print and the thing, the list that tells us what everything is. So I'll open that. This month it is Beltane. Of course it's Beltane, right? And we've got this printout which says, On the night of Beltane the fire shall burn to usher in the sun, king, and welcome his return. Hand in hand on this night the lord and lady sing joy upon the lands and gifts that they will bring. Days will now be longer as the power of earth grows stronger. Trees shall blossom and flowers will bloom bringing forth from within the womb. <laughs> Upon Beltane light a candle and make a wish into the flame. Be happy, rejoice, dance and sing as this is the most joyful time of spring. So we got a beautiful poem with a pentagram on the top. We love pentagrams. So I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to take a sip of my drink. And let's open it. Let's see what's inside. Like I said, there seems to be a lot of big stuff in here this month. What is this? It's a Beltane fire shampoo bar. A shampoo bar. It's circle. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Wow, look at it. It's a shampoo bar. It smells really nice. What is, what is this smell? Fire handmade solid eco shampoo. Handmade solid shampoo bar with a unisex fire scent with warming cinnamon, blood orange, and rosewood essential oils presented in a reusable tin. Did you know using one bar of solid shampoo can stop up to three plastic shampoo bottles going to a landfill, as well as being completely natural and chemical free? Well, I have no idea how you're supposed to use a shampoo bar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's like, what do you just rub it in, in on, on, your, on your hair? Do you rub it on your hands and then rub it in your hair? I don't know. I'm going to have to look look that up, I think. Or you can let me know in the in the description or you can let me know in the comments below how I'm supposed to wash my beautiful lovely long hair with a shampoo bar. But it does smell amazing, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. So, that's that Beltane shampoo bar. Let's get the next thing out. What's this? Dead Sea Honey Scrub. Beltane Honey Scrub. A blend of Epsom salts, dead sea salt, and with a sweet and fragrant honey scent. Perfect for use in a shower or bath to exfoliate, soften skin, and leave you feeling refreshed. Particularly good as a foot scrub. Alternatively, dissolve a little of the scrub in a warm bath for a sweet and relaxing bath experience. So it's like bath salts, kind of, but but not bath salts. Bath <laughs> exfoliating honey salts. I mean... I should, you'd, think I'd, you'd think I'd be able to get this cellar tape off easier since I actually do have nails. Now, I never used to have nails. Because I used to bite my nails. Now I don't bite my nails. Because biting your nails is not cute. Cool. Oh, it does smell really nice, actually. I'll bring it over. Okay, so. Dead Sea Honey Scrub. Love it. What else we got? We got this. It's in a box. What I do have is the nail cutters that have a nail file which should be able to open the box. There we go. Sounds like wood. Oh, 
Oh wow, is it a box? It's a trinket box. Look. It's a Tree of Life trinket box. A hinge box made from mango wood featuring hand-carved Tree of Life design on the lid. Perfect to add to your altar to store herbs, crystals, or incense resin. Well, I mean, there's not really much space on my altar, as I was saying last time, unless I put some of the stuff in it, like this. Someone told me what this was before. Thank you. I forgot the name of it, but I know what you do with it now. You burn it like a sage smudge stick, right? So. I remembered, I remembered, but this, I love it. This box is pretty cool, so I'll put it on my altar, which is just an absolute mess at the moment, so I'm gonna have to sort it out at some point. <laughs> What's this? Beltane spell jar. We got another spell, ladies and gentlemen. What's in this spell jar? A blend of mint, mugwort, thyme, marigold, frankincense, and yarrow with a scroll spell for Beltane contained within. This glass spell jar has been created to assist you in your Beltane rituals, wishing for fertility and abundance from the Earth Mother in a season of fire! Mmm, I do love the smell of these herbs. I mean, the mint is the most overwhelming smell. Like, mint is mainly what you can smell. But let's let's see if we can actually get this, the, the spell out. <laughs> Maybe if I put my finger inside the scroll and then... Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. What does it say? Here we come a piping in springtime and in May. Green fruit a, a ripening. A green fruit a ripening. Here we come a piping in springtime and in May. Green fruit a ripening and winter fled away. The queen she sits upon the strand, fair as lily, white as as wand, I mean, as, this, the, the, if you need someone to write for you, I, I, I can rhyme. <laughs> the queen sits upon the strand, fair as lily, white as wand. I mean, I mean, it, it kind of works. <laughs> Let's start again, huh? Here we come a piping in springtime and in May. Green fruit a ripening and winter fled away. The queen, she sits upon the strand, fair as lily, white as wand. Seven billows on the sea, horses riding fast and free, and bells beyond the sand. Val, va, valiente. Valiente. Doreen Valiente, whoever that is. I don't know. I'm not really into poetry as such. But yes, that is a spell with lots of herbs. A spell in a bottle. I love it. Okay, I want to keep the actual spell outside and then just put the put the top back on the bowl. Put this over here. Put this over here. And then see what else is in here. Are these me wax melts? You know I love my wax melts. This is the best thing in the box. No, there is always great stuff in the box, but I always love the wax melts, ladies and gentlemen. So what do we have this time? Let's see. Lily of the Valley Beltane Wax Melts. Perfect for Beltane. Lily of the Valley symbolizes love and fertility and has been used since the 1500s as a symbol of affection and appreciation. With the tradition of giving a small bouquet of Lily of the Valley for good luck and happiness and as a celebration of the end of winter. It smell very clean. That's, that's, um, that's the best explanation I can give, I think. They smell very creamy and very clean, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look what they look like. Oh, they're all in different shapes. You got roses and I guess what is the lilies and other flowers. I'll show you. But as we all know, I keep my wax melts in this. I still have one of the tombstone ones from last month. And I still have some of the heart ones from the month before. So I'm going to put my new ones in here. I'm going to light one after this video. Uh, cool. Put them over here. What else we got? There's still one very big box in here, which I'm saving for last. We got a little box, which looks feels like it's got some crystals in it. 
Yep, crystals. So bloodstone, tumble stones, maybe. Traditionally associated with Beltane with properties reflecting vitality and courage, bloodstone also has a grounding and purifying properties with its ability to ward off negative energy and purify and cleanse the energy around it. Yay, and they can go in my trinket box. Okay, so is that it? Is this only the big thing left? Oh, there's this. Broomstick air freshener, ladies and gentlemen. My other ride is a broom. Pretty cool, but I don't drive, ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> that will just sit on the table. What's in here? Uh, this is a big box. It's exciting. What could it be? Oh my god, it's a chalice. It's a chalice. A chalice with dragons on it. <laughs> I love it. It's got a thing inside. Washing instructions. Take out the stainless steel cup from the resin cup for washing. Only wash the stainless cup. Do not wash the whole goblet because the resin is not water washable. Dry the stainless cup thoroughly. It's Nemesis now, no way. Dry the stainless cup thoroughly before placing it back in the resin cup. So I guess that, that this is removable. Ugh. It's not easy to get out, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, you can take it out like like so, and then you wash it, and then you put it back in, I guess. So there we have a goblet, a chalice, whatever you want to call it. That can go, I don't know where, on my altar table at this point. It's like, I'm going to move the sage candle and then put it next to the hand of Baphomet. And then this sage candle, which I still haven't lit, I might light it today. How about that? But I think that's everything. So what did we get? We got a Celtic design Beltane chalice, a hand carved tree of life wooden trinket box, Beltane spell jar, Beltane fire handmade eco shampoo, which smells beautiful, Beltane honey scrub, lily of the valley, Beltane wax melts, air freshener, the, the broomstick air freshener, Bloodstone tumble stones, a Beltane print, which is this, which has the poem on it. And that's it. I got my Selenite sword. Let's go. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is a good box. I got a chalice, ladies and gentlemen, a chalice, which I probably won't actually use for drinking out of, in all fairness, because it's not really big enough for me to drink drink out of, really. But... But it's very cool nevertheless. And it's pretty much the same colour as my Baphomet hand. <coughs> Which I will show you. I'll get some B-roll of the mist that is my altar. And I'll put it in probably now. And then cut to the outro. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the Cures and Curses Beltane Secret Satchel for May 2021 i'll be back next month or whenever they send me the next satchel because i don't know anymore i thought it was going to be around the 15th but no it came before may actually this one came i think it came on like the 29th of april or something or maybe the 30th of april i can't remember okay but anyway i'll be back with more videos i'm actually going to record another video in a minute with the same makeup on because no i'm not going to change my makeup to record a video on the same day okay so ladies and gentlemen as i've said a lot of times my album will be out around the 14th of may it's going to be about the 14th of may i'm just waiting for a little bit of artwork so i can release one of the singles before i release the album and then that's it so yeah amazing i'll be back with some more videos i hope that you like and subscribe if you like the video and you're not already subscribed which since i've got 11 subscribers you're probably not already subscribed <laughs> but thank you for watching anyways i hope that you're having a beautiful evening afternoon or morning wherever you are in the world i've been creepy or high nine peace